He's like, is this enough to give me a reward? Good morning, Cat here with Standing Stone, and this is our little puppy Hex. You've probably seen him in some of his other videos, and he is 10 weeks old and ready to train this morning. Hey. So he is kind of demanding his training session start immediately instead of me talking. So I'm gonna actually call him to me and hold on to this little guy and see if that can settle him down just a little bit so I can give you a brief intro of what our plan for today is and then get started with his training session. It's important to recognize anything your puppy's doing consistently, they're conditioning themselves to. So if he's barking and demanding attention from me, that means I need to interrupt that behavior so that it doesn't become a habit for him to bark at me for attention because it's kind of cute now, but it's not going to be cute as he gets older. So we have already charged the clicker with this little guy and have worked on some other obedience training goals through clicker training for recall and sit. And so today we are going to be working on place training. That's going to be utilizing this Cato board. It's a nice small platform. It's up off the ground. So it creates a nice distinct boundary from being on the platform, on his place and on the ground. Um, we're gonna start this process by seeing if he just is interested in getting on the bed um, or on the platform. That would be considered free shaping, just letting him explore, see if he can find a way to get that reward on his own. Otherwise, I can do a little bit of luring, trying to get him on and then remembering to mark exactly when he starts stepping on that platform. Then we can build off of that. Maybe he's only got one paw on, then we get to two paws, then his whole body. Um, remember, the click marks the behavior, but it also ends the behavior. So if he hears that click and hops right off, that's A-OK. -okay. He's done exactly what I wanted him to do. So this will be his first training session with this, and we're gonna see what that looks like today. Well, I didn't have my clicker ready. Goodness, buddy, you are ready to go. So I'm gonna give him his treats. Now, I also wanna make the distinction of him just being on the platform is not him exhibiting the behavior of getting on the platform. And that's ideally what we're wanting to train him to do is teach him to get on a place, get on a platform, get on a dog bed, which is the kennel behavior. So I'm gonna get him to move his feet and come off the platform. And then I'm just gonna stand here and see if he knows how to get back on there for a reward or to at least explore that space. He's doing a really great job of sitting, which is something that we have just been working on. But he's not going to be rewarded for that behavior today because that is not the behavior we're working on. In these early stages, which if you're following along with our step-by-step -step dog training plan on Standing Stone Supply, you can actually be following along exactly like he is doing right now. And we've worked on the recall behavior, the sit behavior, which he's exhibiting really well. And now we wanna move on and only be working on the one behavior that we're focused on today so that there's no confusion. Just move my feet. Sometimes that gets them to refocus, remove their feet. Hex. Just moving his feet might get him to explore the platform again. Good. So not really baiting or luring him onto the platform, just moving around it to create some movement and momentum in this session to see if I can get him to do a little more on and off on his own. Yeah, that's a good puppy. And I uh, absolutely prefer him sitting thinking he's going to get rewarded than jumping all over me. So it is a good behavior and that's one of the reasons that we condition it. So get him to move off, stand here patiently. Very focused. This is awesome, this level of focus that we're seeing out of him already. But sometimes we need him to just move your feet a little bit more. And once we get the momentum of the session going a little bit and he understands that what he's being rewarded for is the process and the behavior of getting on his bed, I think that this will go a lot faster or getting on his platform. Good boy. Good boy. 
just coaxing him off so I can try and reward him for getting back on. Oh, you fell off there, that's okay. Getting you off the bed is the important part so that we can mark you getting back on the dog platform. So he's already fully gotten on the, the, the platform before, so that one paw on thing, I'm not really gonna mark because I wanna make sure that he's getting completely on the platform now, which he's already shown that he can do. You may also be asking yourself, why am I not cueing him to get on the bed or get on the platform yet? Well, that is because, well, we're halfway, that's okay. I'll still mark it. Um, that is okay. Uh, we're still making progress of getting on the bed a little bit here, on the platform. I keep calling it a bed. Not that he's gonna sleep on this thing, but we utilize this same behavior for everywhere we want our puppies to go. A platform, a Momarsh stand, the back of the truck. Obviously, he's not gonna be getting himself into the back of the truck yet, um, but these platforms and things like that all are the same behavior of going somewhere, which is the kennel behavior. But back to why I haven't started utilizing the Q kennel, because he really doesn't know this behavior well enough yet. He's still offering a lot of sits, a lot of just standing and looking at me because he's still not 100% sure what he needs to be doing to get this reward. So the faster that he learns to get back on that bed, that platform for his reward, the better understanding he has of the behavior I'm looking for, and that's when I can start utilizing that cue. He's like, is this enough to get me a reward? I don't know, is it? Come on, come on. That was enough to get you a reward, good job. Just encouraging him, not giving him an actual cue of hear or sit or anything like that. Just kind of giving him a little bit of coaxing, verbal encouragement to move so that I could get a mark on him with getting on the platform. Okay, okay buddy. Good job, so much excitement. Well, if that starts to become a habit, that's something that you know he's very excited and he's launching onto the bed, the platform, and if he launches on and then immediately launches off and I've marked him when his feet hit that, but then he immediately jumps off, I need to be careful that he doesn't start thinking that that's part of the sequence, which he showed this time that he got on the bed platform and then did not continue off of the platform and waited there patiently for his food reward, so. So close, a little closer. You're doing good. Good boy, come on, come on, just a little more. Good boy. So, marked him crossing that bed again, trying to get all four feet up there. But he still hopped off right away. But like I said, the click marks the behavior and ends the behavior, so that's fine as long as it's not becoming part of the sequence and a complete habit. Good. So I held my click just a little bit longer on that one intentionally to see if he was just gonna continue on in his on the bed, off the bed path. On the platform, off the platform path, so. Three, three paws, then back to two. We're getting a lot closer. Getting a lot better understanding of this is the behavior he's offering more consistently now in this session than, than just standing or sitting. So that's good. Oh. It's a little bit too much sideways momentum in that one, buddy. But we're seeing more consistently him getting on the bed than him offering up any sits. So we're getting there, 
with his understanding. We are still nowhere near ready to introduce the cue, which is why this process typically takes most puppies one to three days. And since we're utilizing their meals for their training sessions, that ends up being, you know, a meal in the morning in a training session, a meal in the evening in a training session. So upwards of six training sessions before we're even introducing the cue. So, um, and every puppy's a little different. So keep that in mind when you're training. Um, if your puppy's taking a little bit longer to figure one of these behaviors out or is figuring it out really quickly, just keep repping it, condition that behavior well enough and then move on to the next thing which his next thing will be the stand behavior, which is the beginning to whoa, which would be the cue we would be using, uh, so that sit doesn't become the default for everything. You see he's very good at sitting, which is great, but we have a bird dog here that we're going to want him to understand what whoa means when it comes time to hit the field. So I want him to understand that that's a separate behavior from sit, which he'll be able to do. Come on, good boy in one of his next behaviors that we'll be teaching him. That way, sit doesn't become the default for everything and he turns into an auto sitter where he thinks the only way he can get rewarded is for sitting. The only way he can get a bumper retrieve is for sitting. The only way he can get his food is for sitting. The only way he gets attention is for sitting. We need to teach him he can get rewards and get attention and get things that he wants for other behaviors, which would be that stand behavior, which we'll teach him later. You're doing good. We've only got a little bit more. I'd like a couple more really good on offs here. We'll try and stay focused with him. Good. Utilizing my body and movement to kind of lead him, coax him to move his body in that direction is completely fine at this point. Eventually, we're gonna want him to be able to move to the platform without my body language pushing him that direction. But this is his first time getting, the understanding of getting on this platform is gonna earn him a reward. So that's um, not an expectation for him in this session. But it is a place that we're gonna to wanna to progress to. One more really good rep, and then we're gonna call this session good for today. Good boy. Finish crunching that. Good boy. So this was Hex's first training session with learning how to get on a platform, learning the beginning of the kennel behavior. So he is going to utilize his meals in the next one to three days for this process. Um, we'll be definitely doing his evening meal this way because he's showing a good understanding, but he needs more reps, he needs more practice. Then we'll be moving on to, like I said, that stand or woe behavior. And if you're following along with his series, definitely keep notifications turned on and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another one of his videos. Till next time, I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. This little cutie is Hex, and we'll see you in the next video.